Oi pessoal, tudo bem? Estamos nesta websérie incrível com o Dr. Gabriel Cousins. É um enorme prazer para mim trazer um dos meus professores espirituais para falar diretamente com você. Eu estou trazendo os temas que eu acho mais importantes para o nosso desenvolvimento espiritual. O tema de hoje é um tema que muita gente tem dúvida, que é sobre Kundalini e Shaktipat. Shaktipat é o toque na fronte que o Dr. Cousins dá em todos os seus eventos presenciais. E ele também pode fazer aqui no vídeo, vou ver se ele vai fazer no finalzinho aí pra gente. Então, não perca essa oportunidade de um Shaktipat online agora. Aproveitem, Dr. Gabriel Cousins, atenção! I welcome you with love, and with peace, and really with joy. Power of Kundalini, metaphorically, can be understood as it's the hand of God that leads you to the heart of God. The awakening of Kundalini, which is safest and easiest through a term we call Shaktipat, which is the descent of grace through look or touch or sound, then activates, if we are ready, that force within ourselves. Because in our own system, in an area beneath the chakra system, called the Kanda area, is stored this tremendous spiritual force. When we are ready spiritually, it can awaken. The usual way, the safest way, in my experience in working with it since 1975, is with Shaktipat. And that's when a spiritual teacher who's been empowered with this uh, is by touch or by look or by sound helps it awaken within the person and that way it's not forced when it's awakened we enter the final level between uh, the final switch which helps us work, move from a, between the, the mundane world to a conscious, enlightened world. It's really the final switch that needs to be turned on before enlightenment. Not every tradition has these words in it. But when, when we go back to the Bible, it clearly describes it. In Deuteronomy 34.9, it says, Moses touched Yehoshua, Joshua, and the spirit was within him. And it describes a transfer of energy. So it is very much part of the biblical tra tradition as well as the yogic tradition. I have been empowered really in both of those traditions to awaken that ever since 1982. Also, as a psychiatrist, uh, since 1975, I've been working with helping people balance that uh, and actually started the first Kundalini Crisis Clinic in 1975. And that was to help people work with the Kundalini. My internal in introduction to it came in 1975 as well, uh, when I received the Shakti Pot from Swami Muktananda. He breathed into me, and the energy emerged, and it strongly awakened me and I actually merged into the nothing and as I came out a little voice rang out and said 
And we call it in Hebrew the Hashmal, the this, this small, silent voice. And that Hashmal said, you should learn to eat and live in a way that supports the unfolding of Kundalini. I began doing a lot of research on it. And after about seven years, I actually had mastered the diet for it, which is a 100% plant-based diet, at least 80% live food diet, and also a whole way of life, which I call the Six Foundations, which is a lifestyle that feeds the Kundalini. And I'm gonna use another term here. It, it's Sanatana Dharma, the natural way of living that leads to enlightenment. And those six foundations, which basically feed the unfoldment of the Kundalini and also prepare us for the awakening, involve a 100% plant source diet, also known as vegan, 80, at least 80% live food, spiritual fasting twice a year for a week, building the prana or chi, life force energy, also known as nefesh in the Hebrew tradition. And as that expands, then it also expands consciousness. And we are really talking about the flowing yoga. We're talking about Tai Chi, Qi Gong, sacred dance, all these expand. So there's different ways for people to expand that life force and expand consciousness. The third is service and charity. Most people don't see that as much as part of the spiritual path, but it really is because it helps us, helps us open our hearts to those around us. The fourth foundation is working with a awakened spiritual teacher. You have to be ready for it. Not everybody is in a place of humility where they can do that. But it makes a huge difference because that awakened spiritual teacher has already fallen through all the pit uh, traps that are involved in spiritual life and then can help us avoid those traps and uh, make it a lot easier for us. Uh, along that way, um, we one of the most important things to understand in that is viveka, the ability to tell the difference between the temporal reality, material plane, and the cosmic reality. In, in the biblical tradition, we, we, we talk about walking not only between the worlds, but holding this world and the world to come in our awareness at all times. So that's one very important thing. Another uh, part of that is to what we call equal vision, histavut, seeing the spark of God equally in all people. So the spiritual teacher has a really important role in making your life easier and also encouraging you to keep going because it's not always that easy. The fifth foundation is prayer, meditation, and singing the name of God in a variety of ways. And the sixth is as much Shaktipat, the sin of grace as you can receive from the teacher. So these all are the, the spiritual nutrition for the unfolding of Kundalini. Now Kundalini is, exists in, in all the traditions, uh, but has different names. So in the biblical tradition, we call it the Ruach HaKadosh, also known as the Holy Spirit. When it's awakened, it really elevates and expands our consciousness. So we have the awakening of it, as we talked about in uh, Deuteronomy 
the Descent of Grace, the Yoga Tradition, Shaktipat, and then we have the Six Foundations which feed the unfoldment of that. And that's how it's the hand of God that leads you to the heart of God. That's the mystery and simplicity of the meaning of Shaktipat and Kundalini, the Rahakadesh, the Holy Spirit. Once it's awakened, it takes you to the heart of God. May everyone be blessed that you're open to this awakening and find yourself within the heart of God in this lifetime. Amen. Shaktipat, Ruach Kadesh, Holy Spirit can be transmitted by I. And so for the next 30 seconds, I'm giving you the opportunity to have that experience. And we start with the word Yod, and we'll go into that. Ok, amém. Espero que vocês tenham aproveitado e sentido o Shakti Path. E como disse o Dr. Cousins, para que a gente desenvolva e alimente a nossa vida espiritual, é bastante importante viver os seis fundamentos para a vida espiritual e para a expansão da consciência. Então, se você quer saber mais a respeito disso, para saber mais sobre o Dr. Cousins, eu gravei um vídeo especialmente sobre ele na websérie Os Iluminados. E também uma outra websérie chamada Seis Fundamentos para a Expansão da Consciência, que vai te dar detalhadamente como é cada um. Agora, para você aprender a viver isso, nada melhor do que viver numa comunidade que está fazendo isso e que te ensina como viver sua vida diária dessa maneira. E para isso, a gente tem todos os eventos do, da Árvore da Vida do Brasil, que está no nosso website. Dá uma checadinha lá e te vejo em breve. Um beijo!